Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and today I'm coming at you from the Southern RV sales lot, taking a look at the all new 2022 Jayco J Flight 33 RBTS. This is a bunkhouse travel trailer built with family in mind. It's got loads of great amenities, loads of space as you can see, right here in the main room through the front entryway. We have our combined living room and kitchen space. The couch, which is actually a trifold sofa that can convert into a bed, is directly across from our entertainment center. The entertainment center is canted at a 45 degree angle, which is quite nice because that projects out to the rest of the room. But if you're sitting on that sofa watching TV, it's not an issue because they've mounted the TV on an arm, which allows us to extend it and turn it straight away to that sofa. I like that a lot. I think it's a very slick feature and you'll find that as we go through this, Jayco's thought of a lot of things like that that are quite nice. In addition to the TV and the entertainment center, we do have a little IRV Technologies head unit that is Bluetooth enabled and tied into a speaker system that runs throughout the coach. Pushing forward into the kitchen, we find that it's modestly equipped. We have a kitchen island here, which is something I like a lot because it really improves prep space, especially if you're working with multiple chefs at one time. They've gone ahead and given us amenities like sink covers in the form of a cutting board and a drainage cover over our dual basin sink there. We have these nice countertops that emulate a stone. However, they're not. They're keeping that weight down, but it gives it a very classy look. High point microwave up top, the standard RV three burner stove with a glass top that gives us just a little more counter space and our Furion oven down beneath. This is equipped with a Norco electric refrigerator. This is a 12 volt model, so it has plenty of volume inside. And as far as storage goes in the kitchen, they've really thought that through. They've given us a nice big pantry here. It's built into the slide and for coffee makers and uh, toasters, things of that nature, we can set them up here on this little wet bar in the back, or it could essentially be your bar. It's also got storage above and below. The dinette is actually pretty nice. It's a booth dinette with a collapsible table. The table can be taken outside or turned into a coffee table in front of the couch. And when it's dropped down and the cushions are slid over, it creates yet another bed for this unit. That increases the total sleeping capacity here up to potentially 10 or more, depending on how small some of those humans are. Now, pushing to the back of the camper, we have our bunk room. Let's check it out. This bunk room is super thoughtful. I think that they've done a lot of cool things here. One, they've given us yet another dinette, which is something I really like because this is a family-based camper where kids might wanna bring their friends. And quite frankly, you know, you might have more people in here than what you're sitting at that table or in that living room. So they've accomplished two things by doing this. One, they've given us a second eating location and another convertible bed. So this table can drop down, the cushions can slide out and it's gonna create another bunk. There's some storage down below that. Some other smart things that they've done is incorporated the stowaway bunk up above, which is not a new idea. However, the way they've executed it is quite nice. They've put a nice little spring latch on here. It's easy to pull, it goes straight down. This bunk is capable of supporting 300 pounds, but what's awesome about it is the way that it goes back into place by pushing it up, it simply clicks and locks. I think that's really cool. At the very back of the camper, we have more storage, but more importantly, we have the opportunity for yet another entertainment center. So we could plug up a TV back here. We've got our cable out as well as our power ports in this box and a place to mount up that TV right here. So that means if mom and dad wanna be watching something out on the couch while the kids are in here playing Xbox, it's not a problem. In total, we have four bunks here if you include the couch in the down position because of these nice single and double wide mattresses that we see here. And because of the way that they've stair stepped it, it negates the need for a ladder. Kids can simply climb up onto one bed and onto the other. They've even incorporated a great little thing like this big handle that you see here right next to all of that storage. Now, 
the bathroom that's on board is actually quite nice. This is a one bathroom model, but they've done a really good job of executing it. It's right here by the master bedroom, and wow, it is so bright and so light, it's very cool. At six foot three, I feel like I have plenty of space in this bathroom. I can move my shoulders. I'm sitting on this porcelain foot flush toilet and I can really extend my legs out in front of me. The nice white cabinets, the skylight and the clear doors on our giant, giant shower here really make the bathroom feel bright and spacious. They've added lots of little details in the form of like coat hooks and towel hangers on the wall. They put in storage in the form of a medicine cabinet and I'm loving how much counter space we actually have in here. It's a significant amount, which is something we know we all need in the morning for all of our accessories. It's a really well thought out bathroom and quite frankly, it's nice for the size trailer that we're in. The bedroom here is no slouch either. Let's go check it out. The bedroom's tucked away into the front cap and it's kind of a traditional travel trailer bedroom, but they've given us plenty of walking space around this bed. The bed itself is a queen bed and in a sense, it's kind of got a traditional build out for travel trailers in the front here. What I mean by that is we see our two closets on either side. In this case, we've got a hanging closet over to that side. And over here, we've got a shelved closet. And up above, we have another big shelf with access from these cabinets that we see here. I'd like to point out those small attention to detail that Jayco does. They put strut assist on these cabinet doors, which means they stay up when we lift them. A lot of companies that build travel trailers just make these hinged and you have to hold it up just to get to your stuff. That's not that fun. This is a 50 amp service camper. It is equipped with a second AC that directly dumps into this bedroom. So climate control in here is easy breezy. And under the bed, we have storage as well. There's two cubbies that are accessible from the front, but the bed is on a strut assist and can come up to access that front pass through storage. As far as entertainment goes, we have that option as well. They've given us a flat screen TV mount on the wall, but what's really neat about that flat screen TV mount is that it pops off to reveal this mount here, which we also find outside of the camper. What that means for you is that after you've mounted your flat screen TV here, it's really easy to simply quickly unplug it, grab the TV, take it outside, and put it on that outside wall and watch TV on a nice night out on your patio. Speaking of outside, let's go check that out because there's an outside kitchen that we really need to see. Stepping outside, we have kind of an abnormal setup here. And that's because of Jayco's new system that they call the J-Port. So the J-Port itself is a table that plugs into a two inch receiver. This table is specifically designed to host a Blackstone griddle. Now Jayco has been giving out vouchers for these because they've been in short supply this season thanks to all of the crazy things going on into the, in the economy right now. But that Blackstone griddle would traditionally tie back into the camper's LP system. In addition to that, underneath all this glorious rolled out awning that would come out here, we have a big electric awning that runs almost the length of the camper. But back here at the back, we have the rest of the outside kitchen. It features a large R-Vision electric refrigerator, as well as cabinetry for storage, some prep space, and a sink outside here as well. Super nice. I really like this setup. I think it's pretty clever for big families that are out enjoying short vacations or having kids with their friends along. This is an awesome camper for you. So if you want to see it for yourself in person, please come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. We're right off I-75, just south of Atlanta. Or you can check it out online at southernrv.com. As always, until next time, happy camping.